Hey fellow Baldwins, it's Angry Turtle and in this video we'll be talking about PvP. This will be most likely part 1 and then part 2 because PvP is a quite a huge topic and I was getting so many questions about PvP and it was requested so frequently that I decided to finally do the video and cover the topic. Then let's start from the beginning. If you go into the settings and then game you have a pacifist mode. If it's off, you can engage into the PvP. If it's on, you are the pacifist. It's not a passive mode, it's a pacifist. What does it mean? You can be killed, but you cannot kill or harm anyone. That's a pacifist mode. It is beneficial if you want to avoid PvP, because you will accidentally you will you will not accidentally start it. But if you will own a workshop, someone can engage you. If you are on a team and your teammate engage into PvP, you will be automatically involved and you can be killed. But if you have pacifist mode on and you are aware of the situation when someone can force PvP on you, like through a teammate or if you own a workshop, it's a perfect way to avoid unwanted PvP. And usually I play with pacifist mode on but for this video we will need to keep it off. Now, let's go into some of the mechanics. After you are involved into the PvP, you will see that your target has his little triangle above his head and it's on red. It means you are engaged into the PvP with this person or it can be on red if it's a wanted player. If you have pacifist on, you will not be able to harm even a wanted player. If you have pacifist off, you can engage with a wanted player. But be aware, if you are not really well equipped, you can be just killed by him. Now, the most dangerous what can happen to you is if someone will be able to target you in VATS. If you will allow someone to target you in VATS, you are basically instantly dead because he will lock onto your head. I have a pick lock, but I will equip. Concentrated fire. Someone will lock on your head and will hit you for a double damage and you are almost instantly dead. It's a guarantee hits with VATS and double the damage. How to avoid being targeted in VATS? There are two ways. You can be crouched but it will not prevent anyone from targeting you in VATS. What it does, it increases the range, it decreases the range that you can be targeted in VATS. Then if someone is rather far away, like I am now, I'm not able to target Mitzi in VATS anymore. If she will stand up, then I can target her in VATS again. Then better way, is usually to use a stealth boy. Now, as you can see, if Mitzi is using a stealth boy, even if she's standing still, I cannot target her in VATS. I'm trying and I cannot. If I can shoot her a couple times, I still cannot target in VATS. I heard this myth a lot that if you shoot someone a couple times, then you can target him in VATS no matter what. As you can see, I'm standing next to Mitzi. I cannot target in VATS. And as soon as Stealth Boy wear off, I can target in VATS again. Then if you are seriously thinking about engaging in PvP, you can crouch if you are able to keep your distance. If not, then you are forced to use a Stealth Boy. Now into some more funny stuff. Damage Cap and Damage Override. What does it mean? Let me demonstrate. Mitzi need to just remove all her armor and I will show you how the damage override and damage cap works. First, let me show you in my pip boy. My damage is 30. I have equipped a short handmade, level 15. If I shoot with it, I'm doing 30 to da 33 damage. It's more than my pip boy shows. Now with level 45 handmade, that is showing 45 damage, I'm doing 50 damage. It's more again. Another weapon. The fixer. Showing 48 damage. I'm doing 44. Now it's less. You would think 
something is wrong but it's actually intentional uh, let's keep this fixer for now and I will show you more interesting stuff keep in mind the number 44 let's slightly modify this fixer usually what changes the damage receiver then let's put some something strong hardened receiver 10 damage up I'm shooting 44 damage exactly the same let's try different receiver okay point 38 receiver this seems to be the lowest damage and let's shoot again 44 no change that's the damage override damage override means that whatever receive you put on your weapon whatever mods you put on your weapon in pvp for whatever reason Bethesda attach separate damage numbers for a weapons and it's per per weapon regardless of mods you will use and you cannot see it in the weapon card this damage uh, this damage that you can see in here applies only for pve for pvp there is a hidden damage that you can discover only if you shoot someone who's wearing zero armor then you will know what's the actual damage in pvp for the weapon you choose that's tricky part and now the damage cap damage cap means that even if i will go with an armed melee and hit with power attack into the head i'm doing 110 damage and no matter what single hit cannot do more than 110 damage which means that snipers melee and other build like that are totally useless in pvp because you need to somehow hit a person three times and fingers crossed he will not use a steam pack then it's basically pointless fast firing weapons are the only option especially legacy weapons and pvp armor to a little bit protect yourself but this will be in part two because the topic is too huge to squeeze everything into one video now i will put myself on the receiving end to show you something else at this moment i don't have any defensive perks apart from blocker but it doesn't work on anything else than melee then it can stay there is no defensive perks here no defensive perks in here no defensive perks and now you can open my stat page and you can see my hp and what will happen if i will get shot Okay, now you can see how much damage I will take from one shot uh, with a handmade from mid -C. It's at this moment unspec and I remove all my armor. Keep in mind that damage number is 81 and it match. I lost 81 HP. Now, I gonna use Radex. And let me know how much HP I should lose now as I will remove my all armor by using radix where's the radix okay radix used have no mutations at this moment all suppressed i have zero armor i just have radiation resistance and now from one shot i'm still getting 84 damage one more 84 damage sometimes showing 83 that's a uh, rounding errors for whatever reason, the Scully skin mutation doesn't give you any protection in PvP. I didn't test it yet in PvE, then I have no idea if it's totally broken or just doesn't work in PvP. But definitely doesn't work in PvP. As any armor will give me protection, like if I will put now armor to uh, get some kind of close like that, like 45, it's close enough. 45 armor. Scully skin mutation is giving 50 and now if mid will shoot me I'm getting half of the damage That's a difference Scully skin gives nothing I mean it's looked like it's reducing by one point of damage for whatever reason Scully skin mutation 
instead of reducing damage by half? Yeah, I don't have answer to this question. I just know that something is bugged in here. I will not dig it very deep as PvP is not my main focus in this game. Now, another interesting thing I wanted to show you. Look at this laser gun. 19, 8, 8, 8. Whatever reason. And if you see how it is dropping health, it's random. And someone tell me why. Why it's 19, why it's 10, when then it's 8. I have no clue. At this moment Mitzi doesn't have any armor on her. It's just grounded mutation and scaly skin mutation. Now 19. 14. 9. No answer for that. Something is really odd with those damage. And damage that Mitzi is receiving are fluctuating similarly to those damage numbers. And as we are on damage numbers now, if you are fighting someone, you see a high damage numbers, but he's not dying, it doesn't always mean he's cheating. Most likely, you see wrong damage numbers. Those damage numbers in PvP are much more bugged than in PvE. You see totally different damage than what you are actually receiving, and it's affected by all the damage reduction abilities, like if someone has Lone Wunderer, it's already messed up with damage numbers. And usually in PvP, the most important perk that everyone is using is dodgy. If someone is running dodgy and lone wunderer, the damage numbers are already seriously messed up. If someone is running PvP armor on top of that, then you see totally different damage number. He can be taking zero damage and you will see like 20, 30 floating around. And as I'm in category of perks for PvP, you should be aware that Colanat is very popular because you are using it with Nuka Cola Quantum. Like, I will try to drop my AP now. I'm dropping my AP intentionally and my health is low, my AP is low. Let's say I'm involved into the PvP, someone is shooting me, I am losing all the AP and therefore my perks are not working to stop the damage. I just click in here for new Cola Quantum, look how fast my health is going up and AP is instant re regeneration. And what's important, new Cola Quantum, similar like uh, the stakes that I'm using to fight Imposter, Ship Squatch, can stack and you can use multiple of those and there is no animation like with a steam pack. Another PvP perks. As usually you want to play PvP full health, the main reason of that is that instead of going bloodied for damage or something like that, people are just using legacy weapons, what gives crazy damage without going bloodied. The Born Survivor will automatically steam you up if your health drops too much. Usually people are using rank 2 or rank 3, and now I'm again on the receiving end, I have regular armor on me, and Mitzi will shoot me once to show you how much damage I will be receiving. It's not PvP armor or anything, it's just freshly crafted uh, mix of heavy metal armor and combat armor pieces, plus my backpack with damage resistance. And take a look on my health. I have as well perks, one hit. It's going down by about 30. The damage number is showing 32, I'm losing a little bit less. In this moment damage number seems to be quite accurate, what's not happening very often. I'm going into my power armor. I was receiving 30 damage, uh, again I have Radex use, uh, mutations I suppressed. This is my armor from my gear, 385, I'm entering power armor. My mar armor at this moment 242, then I lose, the, lose a lot of armor, and now if I will get shot... You see? Clearly I'm losing around 20 health now instead of 30. And my armor dropped by 100. 
and why why I'm showing it. It's just basically some uh, hidden damage reduction uh, that you have if you're wearing power armor in PvP. Then if you do not have a PvP armor set, then it's recommended to use a power armor because it gives you better protection than regular armor and you just need to remember to use a stealth boy. Unfortunately, PvP is a stealth boy game. If you don't use stealth boy, you will be just constantly dying. Still, if you will end up against someone that is fully geared for PvP, legacy weapons, assassin sentinel armor, I do recommend to just not try. You die once or twice, stop fighting. It's no reason to keep dying constantly and losing caps. And now, while so often you see Teslas in PvP, like in this case I have just a regular Tesla as legacy weapons, legendary weapons, uh, PvP armor set and all the PvP stuff, advanced PvP stuff related to the gear that is really hard to obtain and seriously overpowered in PvP, I will be talking about in second part of this video that will be most likely tomorrow if I will have enough time to do it. Now, why people are using Teslas so frequently? If you do not know it yet, the Tesla works like that. You shoot far away from the target and target is getting hit. To avoid any misconceptions, perks related to damage actually works in PvP. I just don't have them in here as I intentionally want to do lower damage to be able to show more stuff without using uh, 100 steam packs and test the stuff. How much damage I'm taking per shot from Mitzi. This moment is like 6. Seems to drop. Okay. I can't explain why those damage sometimes is fluctuating so much. Like not long time ago I was taking almost 20, now I'm taking 6. Yeah, there's a lot of bugs in PvP and damage calculation and what's going on in here. And that will be everything for part 1 of PvP video. And if you think that I missed something, please let me know in comment section down below. And in part 2 I want to discuss the PvP gear like legacy weapons. I have some borrowed just for the reason of doing some investigation and video. What legacy weapon means, it's all the weapons that comes with, that are energy, comes with bullets, explode for area damage. Those are legacy weapons and I have borrowed PvP gear that uh, Mitzi has at this moment. It's Sentinel Assassin that I will be showing how this works and how you can use it to get a crazy advantage to be honest in PvP. And at this moment, thank you a lot for watching and see you guys in the next one.